Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam and in today's session we will be knowing about the Advanced Revenue Management Reports like uh, in the NetSuite application or for the purpose of revenue recognition various kinds of reports are there and it uh, balances uh, ties directly to the uh, GL account balances but uh, before moving on to, uh, towards the uh, reports uh, we'll have a, a small uh, know-how of the month end revenue process uh, means how this uh, process uh, uh, actually works and uh, what are the things that are involved in it. So the month end revenue processing uh, includes creating the revenue recognition journal entry. That is the first step that we have seen how it is done in our previous session. So uh, what happens is revenue recognition journal entry are created in order to post the revenue from the revenue plans and then comes the next step that is a deferred revenue reclassification uh, journal entry. And it is concerned with making the month end adjustment to deferred revenue and that process is called the revenue reclassification. And for this purpose, we must create revenue recognition, uh, sorry, revenue reclassification journal entry each month uh, to ensure the accurate uh, results in subsequent periods. And uh, after this, uh, uh, the deferred revenue waterfall report is required to be run. So these processes are required to be run in an order first. Uh, like we can say that uh, first comes the revenue recognition journal entry, then comes the deferred revenue reclassification. And then as a final step in this process, we have to uh, run and save the deferred revenue waterfall report. So. Uh, in our previous session, we have gone through how the creation of a revenue recognition journal entry is done. So in uh, this session, we'll know how the reclassification uh, it takes place in the NetSuite application. For that purpose also, we are required to create a journal entry. And the reclassification process uh, creates up to five kinds of adjustment uh, journal entries. And the adjustment created depend on the system. Uh, configuration so like there are uh, foreign currency adjustment that are there for foreign currency transaction that have been built only then we have the other adjustment uh, that is unbuilt receivable so this is for the purpose of uh, the revenue that have been recognized in advance of billing and there is carve in carve out and many and uh, three more uh, adjustment that are required under the reclassification so in order to create the revenue reclassification journal entry, we have to go into transaction financials. Here you can see that we have the, we have the option of schedule reclassification, reclassification journal entry. We can also trigger it out by scheduling it or if we want to manually create a reclassification journal entry, so we can click on run now. So it will redirect us towards this page. Here you have, we have to provide the posting period, date, subsidiary, accounting book, all we have to provide and then we can click on uh, create journal entries. So the journal entries uh, would be created accordingly. So after this, the uh, after running the, so, um, after creating the revenue reclassification journal entry, we have to run and save the reven deferred revenue waterfall report. So the navigation for it is we have to go into reports revenue. And here we have the option of deferred revenue waterfall uh, report. This is already here. So this is the summarized view of our uh, deferred uh, revenue. So what happens this report reconciles deferred revenue account balances on the balance sheet and provides a forecast of the expected revenue stream. So this is the summarized view of the waterfall summary uh, report. So if I click on the view detailed one. It is for subsidiary Canada and the posting period is given here that is September 2022. So this is the uh, detailed uh, waterfall report here. We can see that uh, the customer's name are, are given here. As I have mentioned that it contains the 
prior sorry the expected revenue stream a forecast of the expected revenue stream so since it is for the period of september 2022 so it is a, a column for the forecast month that is the uh, next month uh, that is october 2022 is given here so this, these are the accounts that have been affected items are given the source type from which these amounts have come are given here so if we take this unplanned deferred revenue here so it has all the revenue plans that are built unrecognized and not yet in any of the revenue recognition plan means uh, this unplanned deferred revenue plan the amounts that are appearing here are the ones that uh, for which uh, no revenue plan has been created so if we uh, go and view any of this apple ipad so here you can see that we are not having the option of viewing the revenue plan because no uh, plan has been created for it so that is why this uh, the amount for this particular revenue arrangement is falling under the unplanned deferred revenue here then uh, what is this prior unrecognized revenue so here the deferred revenue that is planned for the recognition but not recognized yet so if we have not completed the month end revenue recognition journal entry for the current period then those amounts are visible here means uh, here we can see all the amounts for which no journal entry has been created so if i click on it that is uh, 264 the revenue arrangement number is 264 and you can see the status for this revenue plan is not started just because we have not created any journal entry for it though we can have the view of the revenue plan here a revenue plan has been created for it this is the actual uh, plan that is there for this particular uh, revenue arrange arrangement so all the amounts for which no journal entry has been created are uh, coming under the prior un unrecognized amount and here we are having the expected revenue stream for the forecast month and here we can have the total amount so this is the way of viewing uh, the deferred revenue waterfall summary now after deferred revenue waterfall summary the other report as we have uh, seen the reclassification so obviously for that also there is a required uh, report so for that we'll go into reports revenue here we have the option of deferred revenue reclassification entry so this is the deferred revenue reclassification entry so this report shows a detailed log of all the related revenue transaction which includes billing transactions revenue recognition journal entry foreign currency gain and loss adjustment unbilled receivables adjustments and all you can see that under the transaction type we can have all these things available here all the types that i that i have mentioned under each revenue arrangement and has been uh, classified by the customers so for the first customer it is given here as and this report shows the activities that created the current account balances and the sum of all amounts for an account on this report equals the amount on the balance sheet here we are having the option of offsetting amount for transaction currency and base currency uh, this is uh, for you know transferring these uh, amounts to the balance sheet so these are the deferred revenue account that have been affected uh, based on the transaction currency and foreign currency the offsetting account has been taken here and these are the balances that have been transferred to the balance sheet so uh, if we take this unbilled receivable if we want to see or view it into the balance sheet at, as it has been offset to the balance sheet so we'll go into balance sheet first and if we go down here under the unbilled receivable so here we have the option of unbilled receivable that is for 25000 so here you can see these are all the unbilled receivables that have been there all these uh, amounts have uh, come from that deferred revenue reclassification activity here so these are all the unbilled amounts unbilled receivable amount sorry followed by the customer's name and the type of general and the uh, revenue arrangement sorry document number that is a journal entry number is there so if i click on it like if i click on this 1438 you can see that this is the journal entry for it 
unbilled receivables uh, account has been debited by 3000 so here we can view all the uh, reclassification journal entry transaction available here so all these amounts that are uh, pairing on the balance sheet have uh, come from that deferred revenue reclassification entry uh, since uh, it provides us the offsetting amount for the balance sheet apart from these two reports we have other reports uh, in order to view the revenue recognition uh, we have other reports like if we go into reports revenue uh, and deferred revenue by customer so here the deferred revenue customer by report shows the deferred revenue amount grouped by grouped by customer here we can have the reports that are grouped by items then we have all other reports available if we are making uh, if we are uh, if we have created any of the forecast plan so here we can view all the forecast related revenue related reports so apart from uh, waterfall and the reclassification activity reports we have all these reports that we can view uh, followed by the means uh, that have been grouped by the customer and item so that's all about the reporting of the revenue recognition process in case of any uh, consultations and questions you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you